guys welcome back to the Sammy Plum Bob channel and today we're going to continue on with the Sims 4 seasons okay so where we left off is that we actually went through lottery day and then we went through harvest fest host with the most what was that I got an achievement today y'all <laughs> What was that? I was 50 bronze or better social events across all Sims. Wow. What an achievement. What an achievement. We rock. Okay, so where we left off is, yeah, we went through uh, Lottery Day and we also went through Harvest Fest. But with the Lottery Day, Lynn actually ended up win winning 1 million simoleons. What the heck that's what i'm thinking she won uh, quite honestly so one million simoleon she became a millionaire within a matter of a day and then yesterday also she reached level 10 in her career her dream came true she is a very happy woman and now all we're doing is writing one more song and we are going to license these songs bridget is going through a phase she is feeling very rebellious and will seek to challenge parental authority oh lord no please please no you're still going to school today <laughs> you're still going to school you're not staying home work from home he also got a promotion today he's been promoted to stem cutter we're going to open up all these packets that are just sitting around everywhere and hopefully we find something new okay. oh yeah we found something new just open them all up and then we'll figure out what was new. Go, go, go. Okay, so we only found one thing that was new. So let's actually look at it. What do we get? Please tell me it's a seasonal. Yes, we got a seasonal a freaking plant so we got a begonia begonia flowers can mean caution but they stand out in a garden oh my lord yeah yeah we got us some begonias B -b -b begonias yes. this is gonna take a couple of days for her to get an a in school and then we will complete this aspiration and move on to the next spooky days tomorrow lovely we get to okay i think this year instead of watching scary movies we should most definitely go ahead and throw a spooky day party and do things like that you guys what should we do with the million simoleons what should what should Lynn do I don't know I don't really don't know I don't have any I have a couple ideas like maybe starting like a bakery or starting things like that but I don't know if I really want to you know either start a bakery or start your own um, diner something I don't know she has never been into cooking or anything like that um, she could actually open a, a music store that could be something she could do actually but I don't know if I really want to add that in my to-do list I am not sure yet but maybe that will be in the future when she gets to possibly retire or whatnot but we could actually do it you know sooner than later if we actually really wanted to but anyways I don't know I'm just I'm just brainstorming maybe we'll just keep the money and accumulate it and help Bridget out or something maybe that would be her tuition money we can use that money for her college or whatever so I don't know but <laughs> well Fall has really been really good to her this year. Summer sucked. Fall was awesome. Make a holly arrangement. Uh, Winterberry. Why don't you go ahead and do that, and then you'll give that to, um, you'll give that to Lynn. We could have a music slash flower shop, y'all. That's what we could do with the money, dude. That would be a cool thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aspiration completed. Bridget has achieved her childhood dream of becoming a brilliant child. Earn trait, mentally gifted. Build mental skills faster. Hell to the yeah. So she got her school grade leveled up. And now let's go ahead and change this to her motor one. Because that's what we're going to do next. So what she wants to do is she wants to play on a jungle gym while being playful. So 
Yeah, you need some fun in your life. And guess what? I guess you will go ahead and do that tomorrow. Play in the jungle gym. Go to the park. Have the time of your life. But tomorrow is actually... <laughs> it's actually spooky day, so I don't know if tomorrow's a good day for that. But I want to go ahead and get that done regardless. So, uh, watch the between television to get your fun up a little bit. And then, after, as soon as he's done making this, we'll take you to the park. Come on, boy, you're almost there. Level it up, level it up. Oh, he's at 75%. Come on, level that flower range of skill up. Yay, Zachary can now make arrangements with snowdrops, lilies, and... Christmas roses. He can also scent their arrangements with daisies and bluebells. Their level one floral arrangements will also be of higher quality. Oh, that's so pretty. I like the way that looks. Citrus cream. That looks really good. We are going to go to the park and we're probably going to take Homie with us. Here we are. It's pretty cold outside. Why don't you go play pirate? Uh -huh. Yay! Arba. Practice typing for four hours. Lynn, here's your citrus cream. Playing pirate, sailing the seven seas, yard, beware of salty sea monsters. Uh, did you complete another one? Not yet. Oh, yes, she did, actually. To earn this badge, perform cleaning or repair actions. She completed the civic responsibility. Yay! Uh, she is on her way with the rest of them. So let's actually collect that badge. Collect civic responsibility badge. Oh yeah, there was one more thing that actually came with that update that I did not even touch yet. And that is the new sliding doors. So I want to actually put that there real quick. Because I forgot all about that. <laughs> now we got sliding doors for the backyard. Which I like that a lot. Okay, so sooner or later you're going to have to tell your daughter about you and Zachary. I think she has a hunch about it. I think she knows. But she doesn't exactly understand the content of it like uh -oh. they're really good friends right now so i think she would be okay with them actually being together but yeah uh, she's actually wanting to woohoo again so she wants to go woohoo with zachary <laughs> she's feeling it tonight boy we can woohoo in your bed instead zachary how about that <laughs> how about that oh she fell asleep in his bed y'all she did it. She fell asleep in his bed. Okay. So, pleasantly satisfied. That woohoo was something to remember, she said. What about you? He is pleasantly satisfied. The woohoo was something to remember. It was good woohooing. <laughs> wear a costume, master or sausage. She can only wear two costumes. Wow. I thought kids would have more than this. What you're going to be is you're going to be a sausage because, sorry. You don't got any costumes. I think what she's going to do is she's going to come in here and wake up her mama. She's like, Mom? <laughs> Mom! Get up! What are you doing in Zachary's bed? Okay, so she just went in there and woke up her mom. She fell asleep in Zachary's bed. Bridget saw them two sleeping together. And she's going to praise her for good grades. And then I want you to actually talk with her. Have a heart to heart. Express your love for her. And tell her about Zachary. And ask her if she is going to accept him in our family. See what she says about this situation that she just walked into. So he's actually going to come in here, use, and take a shower. Just, just get out of there while they talk. Praised for good grades. Par parental recognition for hard work in school puts a spring in any Sims step. So she's feeling pretty good. She's like, what do you think about Zachary, honey? So Bridget and Lynn are talking and Bridget's like, well, I've known Zachary ever since I was like a toddler mom. Oh, And uh, she's like, yeah. I've known him for a long time, Mom, and he seems like a really cool guy. And I kind of figured that you and him had a thing going on. I really did, Mom. So, it's okay. You, I like him. She's like, you like him? She's like, yeah. 
I like Can him. You be so He's pretty cool. Hey, Lynn, I'm calling to let you know that Moira Virus has passed away. Aw, I thought you might want to know. Who's calling you? Bridge, I'm calling Moira Virus passed away. Oh, Lord. Everybody's dying on us. So Moira actually died. The leader of this club has died. So now Raj has jumped to the thing and he said, you know what? I'll be the leader. I'm the leader of Garden Gnomes. Oh, great. So two people died of our group, y'all. That is sad. <laughs> no. Okay. Hold on. Um... I want to actually add Letitia now. So Letitia is going to be a part of this group so that we can keep an eye on her and we'll know how she's doing and stuff. But that's sad. Moira died. No. Why is everybody dying? <laughs> so he needs to actually get his butt in here because Bridget has something to tell Zachary. Zachary, I want to adopt you as a caregiver. I want you to adopt me. I accept you as a father figure in my life. That is the cutest thing ever. So she, she's like, hey, you are already like a dad to me. You treat my mom very good. And I just want to let you know that you already feel like a father to me. So, oh, that is cute. <laughs> that is the sweetest thing ever. Oh, so she's after all that everybody is feeling so overwhelmed and so happy about that though we're sad that Myra died and kind of ruined the moment but it was this it's like it's the, the sweetest gesture that Bridget could have given Zachary and Zachary is just so happy right now about that he's like you are the sweetest little girl ever <laughs> evolve yes Okay, he wants to graft onto three more plants and fertilize five plants. Get engaged to Zachary. Oh, girl. Click on Zachary and select propose under the romantic category. She wants to get engaged to Zachary, y'all. <laughs> She's feeling him so much. She's like, I love him. Without a shadow of a doubt, I'm in love with this man. Yay. Uh, make it cross the monkey bars three times and earn a high score on a typing game. You know what? I kind of want to invite Ansley because last we heard she was having such a hard time in her life. And so we kind of want to invite her just so to make Esmeralda happy and to, you know, try to become friends to see if she's actually grown up to be a nice person now that they're all adults so we're going to obviously have it at our house and the party isn't going to start till six o'clock at night so there we go spooky party i need to talk to you about ansley oh oh okay what's up she goes i know you invited her to your spooky party tonight and honestly that could have been a mistake on your part and lynn is looking at her like huh are you sure? Are you okay? What's going on? Why is that a mistake? And, um, she's like, well, the thing about Ansley is that she just had a really bad, really bad fight with her, with her husband. And she's like, oh, okay. And, um, she's like, yeah. And also, they got a divorce, so she's probably not going to be in the best mood. And she's like, oh, really? Eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And um, she's like, yeah. And um, also, her husband, before they got a divorce, he actually hit her and actually abused her. And uh, she was like, oh, my Lord. She goes, why? Um, and um, asked, ask homie to go body, potty. And she was like, why? And she was like, well, because she broke it off with him. They decided to call it quits. And so he hit her. And <laughs> I, I just, 
I feel so bad for her, you know. She came to my house last night crying, and she didn't know what to do, and she had bruises on her, and I just, I didn't know what to do for her. And Lynn is like, oh my God, really? So everybody is kind of ticked off at Ansley's ex because he decided to hit Ansley when she decided to leave him and she's like well how did the fight start why did they decide why did she decide to leave and she said it's because he he doesn't put any initiative in their relationship in their home he doesn't do anything for the family he doesn't want to try to do better for himself and therefore do better for his family he's just sucking at being a husband and sucking at being a father and when she confronted him about it he got mad actually hit her and now they are divorced and yeah that happened <laughs> so you're gonna be a mailman why not that'll work and uh she's like oh my god that is horrible that is so horrible i can't believe he did that to her she's like yeah i know so last year she was a cheerleader this year she is going to be a maid why don't you be a maid this year why not he's the mailman you could be the maid <laughs> But, look, our costume party is going to start, and I'm still going to invite over Ansley, because we need to make her feel better, because we feel so bad about her husband practically abusing her. Huh? Kofa? Huh? Oh, Warba. Oh, Dwasiba. Oh, uh, License. Crunch, crunch. What is it? Who is this? Trick or treater. Look at your... We get a trick-or-treater at the door. Here you go, trick-or-treat. Meshka. Candy. She's like, thank you. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. He's like, my little, little maid. <laughs> oh, my God. I can just imagine him thinking that. So why don't you come over here and give her a kiss or something like if you totally asked her to marry you right now she would say yes because she wants to be engaged to you right now oh he's like i love you instead of a treat give her a trick trick her <laughs> it's like you know what you try to trick us because you've already been here before so we're gonna trick you Gorg <laughs> Chima. Spooky Tom shenanigans. If there's anything more fun than sharing a joke with someone else, it's having fun at their expense. <laughs> cool. Aspiration completed. Oh, really? Already? Cool, girl. You go, girl. You go, girl. So she's dressed like a princess at this party. So, okay. Who's that? Wendy Tinks has actually came as a witch. <laughs> so let's go dance. Dance a night away. It looks like Esmeralda is a cheerleader, so I don't want you to be a cheerleader. Let's actually change this and work on her social skill. Boom. What do we need to do? We need to make a new friend and meet five new sims. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. Someone came as Darth Vader. It's her husband. Uh, <laughs> look at Laura. She's a little skeleton. Ansley is a pirate as well. She's over here sitting with her. So everybody, um, without further ado, I think believe this is the first time you ever, 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 ever met Ansley. This is the woman that is our childhood enemy. The, the, you know, the B word, the bitch of the, <laughs> of the girls and totally beautiful too. She is beautiful and a bitch, so... <laughs> Oh lord. I don't know if this is a good idea of inviting her though. She is not happy right now. She is around Ansley and... Okay, so the thing is, she tried to be nice to Ansley while she's in her home, but Ansley just isn't even going to take it. She is not even... She isn't even feeling it, so... Her and Ansley are not getting along very well, and plus... She tried to talk to her and say, you know what, I'm sorry that happened to you, and I'm sure, I'm sure that things will get better in the near future, and Ansley is looking at her 
Like, you don't even know a damn thing that happened to me, so you can just shut up. And then Esmeralda is, like, in the middle of it, and she's like, yeah, she kind of does. I kind of talked to her about it. And she's like, why would you do that? You're my friend. You know what I'm saying? You're my friend, not hers. Why would you do that? So, it, it kind of got a little rocky outside with everybody there. But Esmeralda walked away and now she's dancing with Ginger, just trying to keep the peace. Oh, we got a keep, collect, keep fit badge. We actually got a badge, y'all. It's from dancing. Good job. Spooky day is over. Spooky day was pretty good. Lynn got to do a lot of things she wanted to do, but not everything. Next year, she hopes to do even more. Yay. Good holiday. The recent holiday uh, the recent holiday was a memorable time since Lynn was able to do many of the traditions they love. Okay, so I think t this tonight will be the very last night for them to actually sleep in their own beds. I think they're going to start moving bedrooms and he's going to move in her bedroom and they're just going to sleep together. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to stop this part here and thank you all so much for watching. And I really hope you like this part. And I will see you all in the next part. Everybody have a great day.